So uh, let's have a look on these examples on intervals. So uh, for the first one here, we have the endpoints. We are the, the negative 2 and 5. And this interval has the, the, the round bracket for both endpoints here. So what does it mean by that? So uh, these intervals, this intervals notation is the open intervals. So, uh, open intervals and for the number line re representation, number line representation, so it starts with negative 2 and end with 5 here. So we have so we have negative 2 and 5 where both endpoints are not included in the interval. So we denote with empty dot here for both endpoints. So it takes the value from negative 2 up to number 5 here, but the endpoints does not include it. So um, what, is, what about the, 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 second in, the second example here? Again, the endpoints still the same, negative 2 and 5, but the difference is the, the difference is the, the, the type of bracket here. We have the box bracket over here for both endpoints. Therefore, this interval is the closed interval. Closed interval. So what does it mean by closed interval? It, mean, it means that both, both endpoints, both of the endpoints are included in the intervals. So uh, we can represent this one, this interval, on our number line here, like this. We have negative 2 and 5, and we denote the, the endpoints with dense dot for both endpoints indicating that both endpoints are included in the intervals. What about the, the, the third one? So this one we have from 5 up to infinity with, with open with, with, with curve or curve bracket over here. So we have the open interval for the, for the third example here. So this one is open intervals and for our representation here it starts with number five and up to the infinity so it should be like this so number five is not included therefore empty dot straight up until infinity. So it takes the value from 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, etc. etc. if you if you like. And what about the the, 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 the the last example here? I would like to to say one or two things about this write up over here. So um, basically for these three examples uh, are written in interval notation and for this one it is written in what we call as the set notation so what does it mean by this statement over here so x is any number that takes the value from zero down go to negative infinity and x is the element so so the number the num the number is are the elements of real numbers so uh, in, in interval notation, this one 
it's just basically this one so we have from 0 to the negative infinity so uh, if you look at this oh, oh by the way 0 is included therefore therefore for 0 here it should be box bracket It should be box bracket. And for infinity, because infinity is just a concept of big numbers, so um, we, we don't actually have the, 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 the exact value of infinity. So we, we denote, always denote with curve bracket. So this one we have open and we have, we have the, 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 the curve bracket and also the box bracket therefore this is just a combination of the brackets this one is half open interval and for our representation on our number line here just simply start with zero down to negative infinity So, 0 is included, therefore, dense dot over here. Straight goes down to negative infinity. So, uh, hope this video clarify, helps you clarify things about, you know, intervals. Till next time, bye-bye.